The move to reform the national parliament has come under much debate following Mr. Zirinok's move to change some of the long-term traditions in the parliament. Mr. Zirinok was heavily criticized after he removed a number of traditional totems in the chambers of parliament, something that sparked outrage from Grand Chief Sir Michael Somare, including a number of civil groups. However, in an interview with MTV News, the speaker said he is not attacking the culture of the country, rather he is trying to unite it through a common ideology. Those were uh, really ideological issues. It's not a fight against our culture. There's a misconception by members of the public uh, who, from the outside, were thinking that we were attacking our culture and they labeled me as a cultural terrorist and such, but that is a misunderstanding of the intentions of uh, uh, the parliament. The speaker says the common ideology of the Christian faith is something that can unite Papua New Guineans. United people are usually united uh, upon a common uh, ideology. And so I am promoting the notion of the Christian faith uh, as an option for our people to you know, come together upon. On his referral to the Ombudsman Commission by the Catholic Professional Society, accusing the speaker for abusing his powers, Zirinok had this to say. Up until now, I have not received a formal, um, formal correspondence or advice from the Ombudsman Commission about the, uh, the reference that uh, was uh, made known in the media to all of us. Meanwhile, the Speaker confirmed the Parliament reform is well underway, with MPs showing support of this initiative. Stanley Over Jr., National MTV News.